Hi guys, it's Michelle here. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for inviting Pepe and I to dinner the other night and also to um, get on the waiting list for your Camino trip. Fingers crossed we get to go. Um, but if it doesn't work out, I just want you to know uh, you reignited that spark I had for the Camino 10 years ago by sort of put it on the back burner. So it felt good to bring it alive again and to see how it unfolds and to put more efforts to making it happen somehow, some way. So thank you guys all very much for that. And I wanted to share with you guys a little tip for training, for preparing, um, for bringing together not only your physical bodies in preparation for the walk, but also your mental, your emotional, and your spiritual being, bringing it all together. Oftentimes we get so caught up in the details of the physical, it's gotta, I gotta do this workout or I gotta get on the trails for this or I need this shoe and that shoe. And we forget a really powerful tool that we have with our breath. And <laughs> I wanted to share with you how I start a lot of my trainings, a lot of my workouts is bringing that connection with breath into the picture. And the reason that we want to practice this so much is because we're often faced with things when we're on the trails or we're in the middle of doing something where mentally we may get fearful or we may have an injury, or our nervous system is just tense and tight. And really what we need to do is learn how to breathe, learn how to come back to our center, learn how to connect and plug back in so we can hear words of wisdom. So I like to do this at the beginning of all my trainings and all my classes. So I hope it's helpful for you. So the first thing I like to do, right, let's say we're out on a trail, we're getting ready to go and we got our poles, we're dressed and we got our shoes and all good. And instead of just taking off and walking or getting onto it, it's always good to do a little warm up, a gentle warm up. We can leave the extensive deep stretching for after once the body's warmed up, but we still need to kind of prepare everything before. So the, one of the things that I like to do is I like to bring my prayer hands to heart. I like to soften the shoulders and soften my knees and just gently close my eyes and come inward. I like to take a breath in through the nose, expand my lungs, sip in a little more air, and gently release the out-breath through the mouth. In through the nose, expand, long and slow, and exhale through the mouth. Continue practicing with your own rhythm. Bringing together the physical, the mental intention of your hike today or training, connecting spiritually, and basically just slowing down and listening. Go ahead and flutter open the eyes. And now we'll do a gentle movement with it. So on the inhale, you'll sweep the arms to sky. And on the exhale, you're gonna pull your arms into goalpost arms, pinch the elbows behind you, drop the shoulders. Sometimes they get crunched up, drop them down, mid back chest opening, and then tap the shoulders forward and back. Exhale, inhale, open, exhale, close. Mindful breath, saying hello, little body. We're going to do some work. We're going to have a good time. Learn a few things. Last two, open, 
and close. And then inhale one more time. Press the palms together, exhale. Bring it back to chest. Go ahead and bring your feet together and a little bow and a return. So we get that little stretch in the booty. <laughs> All right, I hope that's helpful and I hope that you remember how powerful your breath is. Breath work is amazing. And the more you practice, the more you'll be able to call on it when you have a critical incident to come up. All right, guys, we'll see you. Bye-bye.